We're gearing up for the gardening season. Angela Kelly is live at the Green Bay Botanical Garden where it is in bloom. Good morning, Ange. Hi, Rachel. Good morning, everyone. Okay, what am I doing? Tiptoe through the tulips. tulips. <laughs> through the tulips. I, that's the only part of the song I know. <laughs> I'm going to be careful not to step on the tulips because they're so beautiful. There are thousands in bloom right now here at the Green Bay Botanical Garden. Um, so come on out and see them. Right now, though, we want to focus on vegetable gardening. And for that, we're going to go to Kelly Hartman. She's an educator out here. And for people who are just starting out, uh, it's all new to them. Maybe start out small. Smaller is better. It's less to take care of when you get into the, the midst of summer. Tell us about this uh, unique planter that we've got here. They make some great self-watering garden containers now, so it actually waters for you. It wicks the moisture up from the bottom of the container, so that takes some of the guesswork out of so for you. So you actually put the water in here instead of all instead over of the top. on the top. Yep. Okay. Where do you want to go next? Well, if we have filled our bucket with some soil here, we are going to plant a pepper plant okay. and a tomato. And it's important to plant to the right depth. All right. So if you want to plant your pepper. Okay. Do I just make a little? Make a little hole. Okay. And it, with a pepper, you only want the soil to be, um, or the hole to be the same depth as the soil in the pot. Can I use that one? This is my tomato, oh, which is on. a little so bit different. Me, <laughs> take this out. I'm always afraid I'm going to wreck it. Okay, there we go. There you go. Now, do I have to zhuzh up the bottom a little yeah, bit? Yeah, pull up the roots just a little bit. Okay. And then you can plop it on in and pack it back into the pack the soil back around it. Okay. My tomato is going to be a little different. I'm actually going to snip off those bottom branches and I'm going to plant it up over oh, where nice. I had snipped off those branches. That just helps it um, grow a few extra roots and gives it a little more stability once you once you get a larger plant. That's a great tip. Now you actually have some uh, gardening classes here, right? We have classes for adults. Um, we also do some gardening programs with children and families, whether it's in a plot here at the garden or in a container to take home and learn. And uh, if you actually just take a quick peek over here, you can see that they have what kinds of vegetables do you have coming up in here? We have a lettuce mix coming up and then also some radishes that are in desperate need of thinning so we can pull out every other radish, leaving more space for the ones that are left to grow larger and better. Okay, so you gotta thin them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back and tiptoe through the <laughs> tulips. <laughs> it's sounding better and better and better. I know, I've been practicing. Yes, it's nice. You can come out and tiptoe through the tulips for free today. It's National Public Gardens Day. So what a beautiful admission. day for it. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then on Sunday, moms get in free. So that's great. Come and tiptoe through the tulips. We'll you enjoy. Ya. Thanks, Ange.